Facebook. Do, 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 do. That's not a part of the setup, is it? Uh, no. no. Careful as we bring that up. Ooh. All right, YouTube, we're just getting the Facebook ready and it's going in. Three, two, one. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 It's high noon here in the studio. My name is Boss Lissa. And I'm your boy, Covey. Sup, Covey. Thank you for having me once again. Um, a pleasure as always. And today we've got our friends on the other side. Da, 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 da. We got some of the hazmat crew. It's yeah, okay. well, it's called the half mat crew when there's yeah. two of us. <laughs> yeah. So we got yeah. RC the Hazard and Jay Clausen. Yeah. What's up, guys? What's oh, up, nothing. What up? You know, just just getting the weekend started the right way. Right, the Easy. stony way. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, thanks for having us. Absolutely. Yeah. Welcome back to the show. You guys have been on quite a few times now. Yeah, so and I always look forward to it. Lost it's track. always, uh, <laughs> it's always the best. It's like a whole different world when you go outside after one of these interviews. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, yeah, it's a different fucking universe that, that you guys, that, that I don't think anyone else except you guys take people to. <laughs> well, you know, you got to give back. That's the high universe. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So I'm just doing some clicks so that we can get... Um, up on the website. So just bear with me here. But yeah, yeah. So yeah. sorry, Cubby, you were gonna say something. I was just gonna say hi to everyone and how's it going out there in internet world land? Yeah, what up, internet? How does the world feel with the new president? That must be pretty crazy, interesting. Yeah, yeah it's right. New I, developments in the world, eh? I, I think I feel like people are just like exhaling a little bit. I think so. You know? Yeah. yeah. It's like, okay, now we can kind of just breathe. Everyone's been waiting for that yeah. fucker to leave. For real. It's, it's been so long. For like all the... So, so much has happened. <laughs> yeah. And like, what was it? It was only four years. I oh, my God. Office? That's crazy to me. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And the craziest shit probably happened in those four years. That right? Was... <laughs> like, the weirdest shit, too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's so weird. I used to love going to the States all the time, and then it's been too, way too long now. You know what? I, I, like, I've spent seven years of my life there, and for the last four years, I haven't gone. I have not wanted to go. Like, there's, there's, like, no part of me. I mean, I obviously have friends and family over there yeah. that I love and miss, but I have not, like, there's been no, like, before I'd be like, oh, man, I want to go over and you know have some like good mexican food or whatever mm -hmm. in, in blaine or whatever right or go shopping or like maybe yeah dude hang out in seattle for that's a bit, what it you was know? yeah and then you got bored of it well i just had no interest in doing it in the last little bit you know oh, because it's, it's just like i just like i don't want to deal with with like you know being a brown dude going over the border things like that which i know like there's nothing really climate. to worry about in that sense but you know you don't want to get pulled over there like during yeah. these times you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's true, that's true, that's true. Ugh. If it was for hip-hop shit, would you feel different about it? Rather than just, like, visiting friends and fam? Or oh, food? of course, yeah. I mean, if there's a chance to perform or, or, like, to go on a tour or something, yeah. I mean, I'd definitely love that. Yeah, sure. Yeah. But well, that, well, that's a silly general. question. I know how you feel about hip-hop <laughs> and performing. Yeah. That, so. I, I knew the answer before I even finished it. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yeah. I, but, uh, anyways, yeah, I think it's pretty dope that, I mean... It's just good to have some sort of change that it seems like more people than not are okay with. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because yeah, for the yeah. last like eight months, it's just been like, you just feel like there's been just like this pressure on you just because of the pandemic. You know what yeah. I mean? To, mm -hmm. to like, you don't feel as free to move around and to talk the la and The go. last time we were in the States too was like the, 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 the very beginning, like the the you know, right, the shit was just starting with all that, right? Mm. So yeah, it was back like, in February, right? Yeah, so. back in February. Oh, you just got in there. So we just got in there. In fact, I think we were going to, we were going back. We were supposed to go back to see a show in March because one of our favorite rappers was touring through like Washington and a city that was kind of close, right? Plus mm -hmm. our other homie out there got us free tickets to it. Okay, and then, yeah. yeah, that got canceled like right when we got back. So it was like, but in hindsight, the good thing is Thought right that smells good. Sorry. Right before that shit happened, it's all good. Um, it, <laughs> it was the first time... At, the crew all four of us had performed together in the states as well like the very first time because um will another guy of the hazmat crew for those that don't know like he was working on getting his passport for the longest time oh yeah and he finally got it so we time. were able to you know 
we didn't know it was gonna happen so luckily we got the fucking hazmat crew united u.s performance in before it was too late <laughs> fuck yeah. yeah um we're smoking on we should show off some weeds so people know what's happening um and also i don't even think we mentioned so you guys we've been talking about hip-hop quite a bit in this last like two minutes <laughs> Uh, it's because you guys all do your own kind of like hip hop kind of um, stuff things. Yeah, all hip hop things, things. All rocker the hip-hop stuff. Things. Yeah, <laughs> musicians of sorts. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, like we we Artists. do our we do our thing as like hazmat crew, but like uh, Covey over here, man. Like uh, like I've I've always praised Covey, man. Like Covey mm-hmm. is one of those like those top tier like mm-hmm. lyricists, like. You know, like uh, me, me and Covey actually have a song that we're working on with Asriel uh, oh, that's ca- yeah. that's gonna be coming yeah. out here pretty soon. I didn't even know that. And like for me, man, Covey's like one of those rappers. Like when you get on a track with Covey, like he's like you get to step up your game. Like you get to you know go to that next level. So thank you, man. <coughs> I always yeah. knew you guys would work I well together. That. There was that song from years ago that I, that. I put you From together the, the on hundred to, more. Yeah, that's the one. Million miles. Yeah. 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 With, uh, with D-Rec like a Jordan and Jumper. DJ Moves. Yeah, that was the first song I had ever gotten two DJs on one song for. Yeah, that was a that one was fun because we were Nelson, right? Nelson, yeah. <laughs> we're in Nelson, and I hadn't done my writing for the day, and mm. so we get to the ho- to the hostel, mm-hmm. and then they're like, "Yo, where's Covey? Where's Covey?" Um, yeah. And I was like in this little basement laundry, just with my headphones on, headphones just on. writing. And I, and like I literally, he, he opens the door, he like finds the room that I'm in. Yeah. Right when I had finished the verse that he'd asked me Last to write, word. but he asked me to write it like, like a month ago or whatever. <clears throat> and I was working on it, and then I just kind of was redoing it. And then when he walked in, I literally finished the last, yeah. like, uh, oh, officially shit. finished it. Yeah, just like it was one of those like life oh, yeah. connection. I like, love working with people like that because, and then like when we got back into town the next day or that week or i think maybe one weekend after we had another show together that cypher in surrey in surrey yeah yeah and you're like yeah so you'll get it done before then yeah that was good so we just got it done quick man i love it when tracks come together like quickly and efficiently like that yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. it's like actually it was was the opposite with the latest one with with us i think because of the pandemic right you sent me that track like before Mm. and then i I think it kind of just like got Got put got, on hold a little got bit. Got put on hold. Everything got put on hold. Right and then when that kind of happened. I actually, I think, so I'd written like a one one sixteen to that, but I wasn't feeling like the last eight bars, and so I I think I remember I was supposed to send it to you a few days before I actually did. I was like, oh shit, because I totally forgot like about that deadline. But I'm actually glad because. In, the, in like the next two or three days I wrote the rest of it and I'm really stoked for it there's so I'm many different ways like, like the process could go well like, there is there, yeah. there was some uh, sorry to cut you off but like <clears throat> no no like there was some stuff that had happened too that was so like your verse was so relevant to the, uh, right because I remember you had spat that 16 for me uh, at Anza Club open mic uh, a while back and I remember it was so dope and then I remember you tell, telling me you were working on it and changing it and uh, and I think it was the George Floyd thing had just happened. Yeah. And like and the like your last eight <laughs> bars, um, I remember you told me you changed that, and it went so perfectly to like what was going on. It was like, I, I thought it was perfect for that track. Right? Yeah. So I'm I'm really Sweet. excited for everyone to hear. And that, that one's just like in the mix. Like you guys are, haven't um, put it out there yeah, into the world. So no, yet. it's totally unreleased yet. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's me, him, Asriel on the track, um, produced by this guy, RC the Hazard. Fuck yeah. yeah. Um, it's gonna be on uh, uh, count two of my moral inventory EP series that I'm doing right now. So, yeah, count count one is available right now. So that's moral inventory count one, um, and then like I said, count two is dropping uh, at the end of this month, and that's gonna have that song featured on it. So, and uh, we can cue up some of this music so it's not so uh, just so airy in the background. Mm. We could put some vibes down. We can't really put it down, like we can't really hear it in here, um, just because it gets a little echoey. No worries. Because it's like going to the computer, and then if it's coming out the speakers, it gets picked up on the mic. But the people at home are listening, so. That's what matters. What strain did you say this was? This is called. Yeah, 
Vicious 5150 and I'm from Poco You don't like what I'm repping You can get the D like the Tigers logo When I get so full in this by the Bofo I'll set it with the home phone It's 100% local, yeah It's coming at you straight up out the Tri-Cities Making sure a part of the music legacy lies Busy saying do it that it never dies Look at up paralyzed Cover no rope lane We really are an enterprise The P-O-R-E-C-O-T-U-I-T-L-A-M I represented that before the days of H-O-M The organization that started it off for me As far as hip hop the Migos Killing the Michael uh, Ryan Migos kind of like Keeping with Solom on the hazmat crew And it's so long as still people yeah, are saying yeah. That's that too Who was killing it way back in the area snap Just look at how he progressed And gave it to his own with that fucking sound Yeah Back then all the way to now Leveled up in the biggest away Yeah, the biggest away No, it is Now leveled up in the biggest away Yeah, the biggest away Never heard it When I actually heard those words I used to wait Yeah, the biggest away Back then all the way to now Leveled up in the biggest away Yeah, the biggest away the town, the place I'm rooted in, the area that I decided to be doing this back in my younger days, taking so many walks across the prairie, back when the world didn't seem so very scary, it was different then, but so it appeared to be anyway, a simple as time, I can't believe it's been some decades, I used to be scared of pursuing rap, but then it hit me that I have too much to get to ever want to hold it back, but then I gotta get the credit where credit is due, it was my closest buddy telling me to step in the booth, my brother got this for recording me first, both of us learning at the same time, the way that it works is forever great, Everything that's happened up to now has built my character Leveling me up like a bazooka from a derringer Back then all the way to now Leveled up in the biggest of ways Yeah, the biggest of ways Back then all the way to now Leveled up in the biggest of ways Yeah, the biggest of ways Back then all the way to now Leveled up in the biggest of ways Yeah, the biggest of ways Back then all the way to now yeah, the biggest away. Yeah, baseball bat size group. Right. Um, I also brought a lot of fun goodies in today. Fun. Like a shit ton. I feel like if we're gonna be able to feel some edibles before the show's over, we should probably like eat them now. We should probably do that. Yeah, that's a good point. Like we should eat them right away. I mean, we've got these chocolate nugs. So the greenest chocolate I ever seen. It's pretty. It's pretty bright green. So they look like weed. But they are chocolate. So you eat them, and I think it's 75 milligrams Four. for the whole Five. thing. No, two times <coughs> 200 milligrams. So maybe it was half like a little bit. Oh I just read the label for the first time. Month. So that's 200 milligrams in your head. Like shit. Holy no. fuck, I've yeah, showered in right these days, just been getting tele I know, like that you were saying, right? It's like a tennis ball. Ball. Looking yeah, in the right mirror, I don't recognize him. Being messed up is what I'll specialize in. Not testing luck, just freedom exercising. Worst outcomes can come with the best surprises. Bitch, what you really think about my life right now? Doesn't give a fuck, matter what you think about the guys, but I'm trying to have a standard at a price right now, like shit. I'm a time bomb ticking when by the second gin can feel it kicking in. My friends are checking in, but I don't let them in. My worst spot, first thought of the second win. Thought I could alleviate the stress again. Am I appreciative? Tell myself I guess I am. The week's done, it was a deep one. You checked up on your strong friends, forgot you had some weak ones. Yeah, I didn't realize they were that strong. So maybe we'll just take like little chunks. I'm just gonna take a chunk off. All that shit seems done. Fake friends, I don't need none. I just don't know what's what. Vision blurry, stuck, such a fucked up rut lately. I just don't know what's up. I ain't seeing luck much. Who's fucked up like me? I am geeking off these annies with my hands off in some panties. I met this bitch at the Grammys and she flew me to visit her family. Her best friends wanna spam me cause I hit her hard with that whammy. I knocked the pussy so good that she woke and made me some Sammys. She tried to put me in a jammy when she caught me macking on a man. And car says with a granny got me locked up and slammy. I made a phone call, I made arrangements, got some bait. I tried to call the bitch, but you know that shit that says. I need to slow this drinking cause it's blowing up my thinking. My liver's slowly shrinking and my breath is steadily stinking. But that don't stop me now. I'm back and playing tonsil hockey with this foxy little boxy. But you won't back up the bottle. I need a cup of Joe, a double dose to slow my system down. Put me in a comatose. I'm feeling like a fucking clown. It's time to shut it down, cut it out, and back to life. But you already know I'll be back at it tomorrow night. You and me to cut it out, get back to life. But I'll be back at it. I just don't know what's what. I should really start.
suck such a fucked up breath lately. I wonder if uh, That's why you have trays. I wonder if a weed cereal has ever been invented yet. Oh. Because that's like. That's a If it tasted like that. It would taste like that. That's right. I've got some And everyone's an idiot, the planet would be shrinking and it just got smaller I won't really give a fuck if you don't really give a fuck But no one should be giving up on this rock, no sir I am gonna live it up if you were gonna live it up It's hip-hop, bitch, I'll lift off farther On the biggest place, working till I'm rich as fuck, but never will I give a fuck. So pass a lean, I'll sift it up, cause actually I'm sick as fuck. Take the sprite and syrup, Jolly Ranchers, I'ma mix it up. Yeah, you know what would like to live the good life. Forget about all the messages and positive things I should write. Fuck it, I'ma give what I create in my soul. And so I don't wanna follow my dreams and chase and my goals. Maybe I should let the drip drop. Hit the itsy bitsy spider, then don't stop until I flood the game. So let's pop, pop bottles, open throttles, fuck some models and some grottos. Maybe pussy money, weed will fill this hole inside this hollow. I should take with mine, after all, I let you borrow. It's not the first time you bit off more than you can swallow. Apollo incarnate, doing good while you harm it. We are not the same, I simply choose not to target. But I got the goods to leave you leaking on some carpet. Maybe I should hit the Switch and get it fucking started. All I really want is land and love. Is that so hard? Instead, I'm broken, lonely, living the life of an artist. Most my peers are jealous, so just think that I'm retarded. 
connected with so much they don't know how to market i have a soul that i control so i must beg your pardon they'll never get it until the day they dearly departed Switch lanes, do some big things Now you're around the streets Around the facts and three chains I ain't your shit Push your fat whip Driving around the city While I'm at a drip drip Let me watch your trip Switch lanes, do some big things Now you're around the streets Around the facts and three chains I ain't your shit Push your fat whip Driving around the city While I'm at a drip drip Let me watch your trip gonna tell you we only chop him with raps <laughs> I breathe slow and remind myself to try like I've seen oh now I'm stuck why let these things go how the fuck I fly if my wings broke how can I not be concerned with the station is in right now girl if you want to have a bright lifestyle I'll burn with a little bit of light like wow I keep asking myself is it balancing out for my sanity and family fuck anything else need this energy to end me fuck everything else cause all that's left on the shelf is all the stress that's been dealt and it's potentially the end of me so best to get out Just too much mess in this house And the depression don't help Observe that you see me complain Wanna be flying away Like the birds and the bees and the planes No backpedaling for anything We will survive I keep questioning like everything Please tell me why I wanna fly now I wanna fly away I wanna fly Should I face life or just fly away? Well, to answer the question, getting high today. Living my life sober for two years, I really tried that way. Giving up, it's over, and I'm fear, I'm feeling my pride decay. Cause I fucking relapsed. Now I'm disappointed, hope that no one sees that I'm fucked up, pull us up my poison Start on my day with Jack Daniels, imagine how the night follows Got the rules to toss and mix it with the Sprite bottle Giving the excuse that I need my escape Now I'm sipping on the booze to try to hide my hate But when I'm spitting in the booze, my time to fly away Now I'm living for the truth, I gotta try today Gotta hold myself accountable for all the shit I've done Cause I'm going down a shitty path, I need a different one This place inside my head is full of a lot to mix things and so I've been trying to fly away but I got these clipped wings
street can catch me out here loving it just strutting down the street the cold breeze keeps me chilling don't need no bottles or pills not focused on no bullshit like stressing over bills the home girl texts and saying bro you down for broken let's do it act a foolish shaking round like hokey pokey the sun's coming down feel like I'm wearing a crown I'm floating I hope I'm not a calm Is what set off my hunger Finally get it when they say these lessons Is what made me stronger Battle my depression and I'm left with no regrets And wanna look back and I laugh Compare the things I did when I was younger Get back to what y'all gave me This rap music is what saved me Man, it's crazy how these fans Always had this faith in me Look with the people that are walking hard To the dope rappers, to the servant boss Up late nights like a working mom Spurging on the finer things Off track, gotta put back the pieces that are broken energy attract even when you at your lowest Fuck the hate man can't let that shit control us alleviate this pain and now you're feeling like i'm floating life is tough i know it's time to bring it down but today i'm steady floating won't catch me with the frown pray for better days then i'll take a look around and i know it's that i'm floating hope i never calm down life is tough i know it's sometimes it brings me down but today i'm steady floating won't catch me with a frown pray for better days then i'll take a look around and i know it's that i'm floating hope i never calm down life is tough i know it's sometimes it brings me down but today i'm steady floating won't catch me with a frown pray for better days then i'll take a look around and i know it's that i'm floating hope i never Steady floating, won't catch me with a frown. Pray for better days, then I'll take a look around. And I know it's that I'm floating, hope I never oh come oh down. Oh my god, that's, 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 that's some universe shit. No, okay, that's, that's crazy, crazy because I yeah, didn't even, I didn't even look. I, mean, I, was, I was like, look, I was yeah, facing totally you guys, right? She didn't even have it open. Yeah, Whoa, I was just about to say to you, I was just about to say, wouldn't that be funny if it was floating? That's the but I gotta be letting you win or whatever thinking about the oh, regular I'm thinking that I'm an addict but yeah. even though it's a lie and I know it's yeah. better for whatever I'm so can I see you all the mumbo jumbo what the fuck bro lurking all around so, myself sometimes you really are a goddamn really asshole you're like I know it's really got me it's you do what you want or so, whatever you want to win that is why you get on my nerves but then again I wanna say you were thinking you're coming up with these words up in this verse blessing and a curse damn if I do and damn if I don't like I said earlier wrote with this no one on about my business because it's evident it's evident that I won't change shit trying to get some done for our first project right so what we do is like a video going through the, the hallways of where we used to live and then at the end of it it's like our drunk selves from that day like let our updated version inside the place you know what i mean like, it's like the 2020 so version going through the hallway and then suddenly the like, it which i implemented in my life it's best you know that a way i'm supposed to take it to the milk cap regardless of whether or not i'm a post with that don't really realize that it wouldn't make a difference as to whether or not I get love from all the clicks Cause strictly through my word I gotta stick From my own level and a purpose
differences. Who cares about the populace? But they all like it, that's a damn problem. And not a me problem. Because you see, I'm not the one that would be caring about no opinions. That is, if it was anybody other than the vicious, 51, 50, the one that called it Willie. I'm not really, but I took the opportunity to rhyme it to this killer. Like, what, what? And gladly I will say that. To make up for the times I down, play myself so many days. Nobody's shy, let your fear with the program. Nobody's shy. Nobody's shy, let your fear with the program. Oh, the Sorry about that, folks. Yeah, I didn't mean to double down for a hot second. And just fucking running around through the hallway. No, 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 we're not doing that again. A different idea. I told you. I told you on the phone oh yesterday. We're not doing the fucking fedoras and sunglasses again. And let me guess, we're gonna wear matching caribou hats at the same time too. Fuck off. How are you guys? We're doing good. Just shooting a video with Tyro. I wonder if this door even fucking works properly. Lately I've been pissed off Urgh. Feeling like the world is something like a switch off yeah. And the drama cause I really wanna oh. Jump off a bridge while I'm listening to crisscross yeah. Had enough, but maybe I'm not mad enough Lately only way to view this life is really sad and tough I'm trying to figure out all the different ways I can add it up But anytime I try to do the math I'm just like that is fucked Now I'm getting frustrated yeah. Boss said I'm late even though I just made it what? Talking to people about my life they're always like you must hate it yeah. Maybe I will be on time if the fucking bus waited Maybe oh. I will be on time if you fucking pay me more Hopefully yeah. I'm making a lot more money with the fucking way we tour And uh. everybody on the staff thinks that you're a lazy whore oh. Wishing at the workplace was like the way before yeah. I'm getting fucking agitated I'm getting fucking agitated I'm getting fucking agitated. agitated I'm getting fucking agitated Feeling like I'm locked in a box now I'm agitated Getting fucking agitated I'm getting fucking agitated I'm getting fucking agitated Feeling like I'm locked in a box now I'm agitated Woke but I can't stop sleeping Trying to just smoke but I can't stop sneezing Trying to just blow but I can't stop coughing Trying to go but I can't stop stopping Why dog is my job cooking out of town So I'm just fucking miss my bus Cause I was lurking at the ground Here's the kicker, here's the punch I was late, smelt like liquor Had beers for lunch Walking in like I own the place at 445 Said that I start at 4 I said 4 sure it's 5 they said you're late. That's a write up. I told them it's time for break. Got something I wanna light up. <laughs> for some reason, they said I'm not allowed. I said, remember what you're paying me? Yo, y'all are clowns. Fuck that. I'm walking out. Like, where are my homies now? Talking about movie with the cats and dogs. I'm home with bounds. Getting fucking agitated. I'm getting fucking agitated. I'm getting fucking agitated. I'm getting fucking agitated. Feeling like I'm locked in a box now. I'm agitated. Getting fucking agitated. I'm getting fucking agitated. I'm getting fucking agitated. Feeling like I'm locked in a box now. I'm agitated. Yo, 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 what the fuck is up? Hey, and we're back. That was sick. Yo, I like how um, it's like really lighthearted. That whole video was super lighthearted. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. You know, yeah. We like were. We, yeah. We were trying to be like comedic mm -hmm. because it was trying to capture the lifestyle like of us like living together in in the three eight six in our apartment, right? And that was just a yeah. just a lot of good times, a lot of laughs, you know, a lot of positive vibes. You know what I mean? So that we really wanted to like capture that, right? So even though we don't live there anymore, we were like, yo, why don't we like go back there, you know, hit up some of the old neighbors, they can give us a key to let us in or whatever and oh, run fun. around through the, 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 you know, the apartments. And then capture that part, like, live is what we did too. And, and then like... at the end of the video, <laughs> we had some old footage of us from when years ago when we still lived in the apartment that like we actually saying, yeah. mixed yeah. into the video. Oh, so okay. it looked like, you know, we were walking into, like, our old, old selves or whatever, right? So... Yeah, that was fun. And yeah, shout out to, to d Rec on the cuts, man. Yeah, he's like uh, one of the dopest DJs in, in BC, man. Uh, the cuts he did on that were super dope. So yeah, we were lucky sick. to get him on the track as well. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, we always try to keep... Uh, we uh, Most of the time, we try to keep the humor. Program, program. Nobody's with the program. Nobody's Nobody's with the program. Even then, so man, we like to 
so you know, always so fucking fun at herself. So it's just, you know when it's no good to know life is so, so much fun. So much fun. Hey, thank you, man. Likewise, if you haven't seen one, check out Hazmat and Night Crew Live. That's wild. They're fucking jumping all over the place, pushing each other. But they, they're like, it's like this controlled chaos where like they don't even know what's gonna happen, but they know they're gonna be okay and they're gonna pull through in the sense where like no one can get hurt. But they do some fucking crazy. We, 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 we have gotten hurt though. We have gotten hurt in the past. Yeah, there's yeah. many sets we've uh, left like sprained or bruised or bleeding. Oh yeah, lots of times. We, me and Vicious used to say, I guess I just haven't. Yeah. Seen, I just haven't seen that, but I've seen, seen yeah. the crazy. No, no, we've always been like that because I think I remember me and Vicious had the saying back in I think 2013 that it's, it's a good show if like one of us is bleeding after. Like, because not like, I don't know, we just like get too crazy with the mic and might like elbow someone yeah. in the face by an accident or whatever, but then we just laugh about it. I don't know. And you just, 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 you just specify you, you knock each other in the face. Yeah. But you're just like, like yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Not not the random people that yeah, are there. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. Maybe whether each other, each other or yeah. ourselves. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's the control part of the chaos. They, yeah. they know who to not punch in the face. If you've ever heard Buster Rhymes talk about performing in interviews, it's just like, it's just like, holy shit, you'll understand a little bit more because he was saying some stuff I was watching it recently, you know, it's just like, that's so our mindset, too. Yeah. Oh, like, I remember there was one show we did, it was actually uh, in Kamloops, and, uh, and I remember climbing up on, onto something or whatever, and I was standing on top of the elevation or whatever, the side of the stage, and then I remember, and I'm performing, and I'm, and I'm rapping and shit, and I think not as much anymore, obviously, like the shows, but I think we're going to start yeah. getting back to like doing some live stuff to fill that void. I've been thinking about it for a while. Like, um, like online kind of thing? Yeah, I used to do it every mm -hmm. now and then, but just, you know, I'll just start doing some uh, little performance clips on IG or IG Live or something like that just to, you know, to rehearse and also to let people see. Yeah, you know, get people uh, re re reconnected. Right yeah, yeah. yeah. which is RC the has, by the way. Oh, wow. And Jane Lawson underscore And also Jake Lawson official. You guys do a lot of the Probably the best one in the band at this point. Probably the best one in the band at this point. Probably the best one in the band at this point. Probably the best one in the band at this point. Probably the best one in the band at this point. Probably the best one in the band at this point. Probably the best one in the band at this point. Probably the best one in the band
Our YouTube is just our music videos in there. Some of the audio titles. Yeah, we do have a couple of fun stuff up there though, and a couple clips of shows throughout my channel, anyways, and the Hasbro Crew channel as well. But yeah, it's something that we should be doing more. But there's always a way. There's always a way. Make the best. Just so everybody knows, 2020 Tyler Durden. You know I'm never hurting for respect or the fame, but I know one thing is for certain. Yeah. There are some regulations. Yeah, like yeah, like there's certain ridiculous the same chairs, same assignments. No meeting people. I was actually, I was at, uh, I was at a spot of tickets, and they have the barrier down. Yeah. And I saw this friend who I hadn't seen in like six months or whatever. So she was at the end, and I got up to go to go say hi, and the, and the wait waitress was like, "No, sorry, you can't go. Yeah, no, you have to stay within your this two-person barrier or whatever." And then I was like, "Okay, cool." So then. My friend comes out and she goes to the bathroom, walks by me, and then she comes to say hi. And then the waitress is like, "No, sorry, you guys can't can't talk to each other." And then she's like, "But that was pretty normal." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's but it was, so it weird, was just like, like no talking to each other. Too. It was just like yeah, it was just so funny. Put away that no like, you can't yeah, study, you yeah, it's too bad. Right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. When you're when you're here, but if you go outside, it's like. Yeah, that was Absolutely, that's what so they're there get them for. Quick because now there's one less. Yeah. And then there's also exactly get them quick because now there's one less. I think I have like three or four. This thing's calling my name. Max. Sorry. I know it's delicious, isn't it? It's really. Good. It's really good. We can even cut up the other one. So we figured out the trick to this uh, whole chocolate situation, and it was scissors. Yeah. 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 I thought yeah. you This is 54 yeah. inches, not a single bit of chocolate in me. Excessive with creations, never can the too many. I gotta make them bottle plenty. Addicted to the music like a bubble fuck a holiday. It's mentally, I'm a cup of I can't keep it locked away on like detox, but I'm just like a garnish. Oh, that would be really good. Because it's pretty like, uh, it pretty rich. rich. It, it reminds me of Lucky Charms. Oh, yeah. It's like so unprepared. I don't know. 
Yeah, yeah, shit, try out some fucking meat sauce with one. I'm all about the people. Yeah, I figured, yeah, I figured that was a good, uh, Oh yeah, the funniest thing about that, that was almost a coincidence too, because I was planning all the projects that long before I was long before I knew the hot sauce thing and everything. Very impressed. Super shout out to Nugs. This tastes mm -hmm. so much like weed though. Like it's just like ooh, sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember, I just shot it. Down. Yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> the root beer flavor had much more of a root beer vibe. And what flavor was that one? Lemon, Lemon lime. lime. I remember. Very subtle. Mm -hmm. it's a I will um, I Oh, yeah. Oh, you did? 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 Oh, you Lying to yourself is like denying all your wealth It's compromising of your health and you'll realize it in yourself Stop and see you go on mental Gotta be a full potential Honesty and modesty are logically just so essential Wanna go back to the way it was That is so whack So I'm getting buzzed No chase to infinity and beyond It's a slow race I've been singing about all these tears Yeah, that was, I don't know why the fuck is Yeah yeah, it was. I don't know why I made that. It was an intense goal that I just one day. Well, it was a sequel for the first time I did it. And the first time I did it was because it was really good and it shows a lot more of time. And just, uh, just a mess. I was doing a lot of camera work. People try to say people have a price. That was the first time I did it. Said we always fucking rap. See every weekend. No one's getting an equal fucking slice. So we would wanna be able to fucking live a different life. Call it. Yeah, so this time I just wanted to make it a couple of soundtracks that lost also to feature a hundred artists. It's not just rappers, some with like instrumentation, some with saxophone players, or maybe like a singer or a DJ or a DJ officer. But a hundred artists, or a hundred more, I think it ends up being actually a hundred artists to have it and then try to make every beat for it as well. It took me about a year and a half, I think, to complete it front wow. to back. Yeah. That's intense. Yeah. Fun times. They were both part of it. Was uh, track two, right? Yeah, they were both part of the soundtrack and the uh, yeah. yeah. So that's what I really mean. It's so 
you know this what I really mean. Oh, yeah, One I think, more uh, time, so you know this what I really mean. Who are the top forces behind yeah. all yeah. this? Yeah. I, I think so. One of the two. Yeah. I'm on the passionate with many different kinds of hats. Besides the rapping, I made speech, supply the slaps. Musical versatility, I'm all about that. Setting the mood and scene will be lacking without the soundtrack. And you will never find a single sample in sight within this instrumental or original. I put that on my life. I like the good conversations, equal in the rapping. out there um I'd, I'd say facebook is where most people get at me um, oh, yes. but, <laughs> to, <laughs> but instagram terrible. is probably a better way to get at me because so do you, facebook do you think it's like messages. really spicy this one no it depends like it depends, on, depends your... on the tolerance i guess exactly it has a kick a for sure. Food? It's been a while since I sat you down and told you a tale. This one's about a guy who it like he's tough at the nails. Man, all it took was alcohol and just a couple of rails. You think that how you know, the hell would you want to play with anyone around without fail? This one is needy, baby, city, and could you truly really blame him? He was so understandable, you couldn't tame him. How embarrassing. Hanging out with him, they felt like perishing. Because every time he drank, he thought somebody was staring at him. You got a problem, buddy? What the fuck you looking at? You want to get smart? Don't fucking meet you outside, man. And everyone is baffled and confused. I mean, I mean, no, yeah. I I mean the, the other ones are dope too, don't get me wrong, but Maybe he should switch it up and smoke some weed This is advice that he should totally be the summer Nobody needs him around, cause he's just being a clown Didn't like know how to pick him off the people He was so childish, man, I can never bring it away Want two or three bottles of it Man, I can never bring it away Man, I can never bring it away The problem is he says it every time a nigga super fun that causes all the stupid stuff where people tell him good enough. The booze of beast really screws him up. He seems to kill it, so with every opportunity, he's got a pretty stuff. The thought of being weak, it really drops truly nuts. To put it G-rated, he comes off as a gloomy gus. Anyway, he ordered up a couple of doubles and saw this girl across the bar and decided to call him a fucking hoe. He was immediately told he's got to go when he was yelling out no. Then off the bathroom a boyfriend is showed. He overheard the disrespect to his lady. So he followed him across the head. The bobber went from time to place. His blood was everywhere in seconds. Cause the blood was never checked. And his arm is up. Right now his head is full. And I can never bring it in a And I can never bring it in a My YouTube is Jay Clawson Official, and then Spotify, Apple Music, all the other platforms is just Jay Clawson, um, and then yeah, and then I guess uh, as a group we're known as the Hazmat Crew, so 
And that is just, yeah, just search Hazmat Crew anywhere. Or if you go to www. Uh, www. Uh, hazmat, the hazmat crew. Uh, everything's all there. Oh, okay, so check that out. I'm stoned as fuck, so hey. that, was, that was difficult for me to say. But Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You would. You would. <laughs> oh, for Pumping sure. Pumping caravan. In the mini Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. You a bitch is for real. You yeah, haven't heard that one. Yeah, check it out. You had listening skills. Yeah, we had a... No, we uh, had a show. Oh, a month ago. Oh, month ago. Oh, a month ago. Oh, a month ago. Right after I released it. And uh, bumped it on. Mm -hmm. I'm on high end. Shut it on the show. Nice.